This is an example video for the topic, solving a system of linear equations using elimination with addition. Let's take a look at an example. In order to completely solve a system of equations, we will need to find the value for x and y that effectively satisfies both equations given. One method that we can make use of to effectively solve the system of equations would be to eliminate one of the variables. So we can solve for the solution of the second variable. To do this, we must remember that when looking at equations, we are allowed to combine like terms meaning that in this system of equations, we are able to combine our x variables in our first function with our x variables from our second function. And the same thing goes for y's and constants. By looking at the initial equation, we can see that the coefficients on the x terms are the same and they are both positive. This means that we can eliminate the x variables by subtracting the second equation from the first equation. To make this process simpler, we can distribute a negative sign throughout the second equation and add the two equations together. After distributing the negative sign, we are left with the two equations, 4x plus 5y equals negative 2, and negative 4x minus 3y equals negative 10. Now we can add the second equation to the first equation, taking note that since we distributed a negative sign, our 4x's now cancel out, and we are left with 2y equals negative 12, which we can then simplify by dividing both sides by 2, and our y value would be y equals negative 6. Now we can solve for x by substituting y equals negative 6 into one of the initial equations given in the original problem. Let's use the equation 4x plus 3y equals 10. We're going to start off by substituting negative 6 in for y. 3 multiplied by negative 6 equals negative 18. Now we will have to add 18 to each side, resulting in 4x equals 28. Next, we will divide both sides by 4, which results in x equals 7. So our final solution for the system of equations is y equals negative 6 and x equals 7. Even though we chose to use the first equation from the system of equations given, Either of the initial equations can be used to find the value of x. If we were to substitute the y value of negative 6 into the first equation, 4x plus 5y equals negative 2, you would get the same answer of 7 for x.